what is going on all right so this one um i've been all over the place on the truck kind of um but i'm going to go back to this one because this was a video that i've been working on that i started to do an intro to and then i wasn't really happy with it and then i did another one i wasn't happy with it so here i am now i'm going to do this one and try to get it over with and continue on with what I've been working on. Um, so the fuel tank, I dropped the fuel tank and it was, the outside looked pretty crusty and dirty. Um, I wasn't really too sure if it was um, usable or not. Um, the The kid that I got the truck from um, originally said the fuel tank leaked. So I wasn't sure if he was just saying that because he didn't know or what. So I ended up going through uh, cleaning the tank all up, uh, wire wheeling it, made a mess at the garage, um, and then went through, cleaned it up, and then after I did that, I um, ended up uh, putting some water in it um, just to uh, check to see if I had any leaks. Um, when I originally uh, um, looked inside the tank, pulled the uh, inner filter inner filter screen out. Um, everything in the tank looked good. Um, for the most part, it looks pretty clean. Um, if it would have looked crappy on the inside, I would have probably scrapped it and bought a new tank or found a different tank. Um, but like I said, looking inside, it was pretty clean. Um, there wasn't too much rust in areas. So then I was like, okay, I'll just uh, put some water in it, put some vinegar in it and just uh, slosh around, see if there actually is any leaks. And I ended up finding two pinhole leaks. One was on the bottom side and one was on the top. So I ended up calling a local um, radiator shop that said that they do, um, that they repair gas tanks and whatnot. So I ended up dropping it off there and then they fixed it. They fixed the, the pinholes and then they checked it and everything was good. So, so then from there I ended up going and I used the Eastwood rust encapsulator on the outside of the tank. And that gets me to where I am now. Um, so the tank is looking pretty good now. I ended up getting, uh, these were the old fuel straps. Um, they're not that bad. The, the bottom is a little, just mostly crusty. I was worried if I started like trying to clean them up um, that they would fall apart on me, but they're, they're mostly just dirty with some outside surface rust on them, but I don't know. I ended up buying some stainless ones off of eBay of all places and then glued rubber to like the face and the tanks all cleaned up. I ended up pulling the fuel sender. Um, I pulled the fuel sender, ended up doing a test on it with a um, ohm meter and it wasn't working like it wasn't reading what it should when it was basically full half and empty so i ended up buying one off of ebay as well um i'm not sure where exactly that is from took a few weeks to get here and i checked that one out and that one that one's right as far as uh what it's supposed to be um so i have a new one in there um i ended up buying a new fuel filler to tank hose some vent tubing um i got that from mcmaster car the filler neck i got from filler neck supply and that is um inch and five eighths or 41 millimeter um that's what i used on my rabbit and it fits the same as this so you you have to buy a 12 foot length and it's not very expensive it's like 20 bucks so do that i can link it or i can give you the link if you want it just hit me up um, so yeah, that gets us to where I'm at now. I have the filler neck all ready to go. That's clean. There's no, that's fine. And then I ended up, uh, this is the rollover vent valve. This one I think works, but I ended up when I was pulling apart, I ended up busting the, um, the nipple off the end. So. I ended up uh, going with uh, basically what uh, tight pants Toby or tight trousers Toby, Toby on uh, forums. I think everybody knows who he is um, based off his uh, 
Jetta. He's done. Um, I ended up I ended up doing what he did and bought one of these um, anti rollover valves. It's basically just so if your car rolls over, that plugs it off and gas doesn't spill out. Um, that's basically what this is. And I still have the rubber connector that goes on the the truck. Basically the uh, same setup I'm going to do is you know, took this uh, the mount, the rubber mount, and then there's this rollover valve, set it on top like so, and then uh, put this uh, larger, um, I think it was a uh, 9 16 washer, put that on, and it fits pretty much in the same exact location like this. I don't know if it's hard to tell or not. And then I put a smaller 5 16 washer. That'll sit like this and be all tight. And then the uh, hose will be up on here and then a hose clamp on it. So. All right, so there's what I've come up with. Hopefully you can see what it is. And then this this still fits in the, the factory bracket. And then this tube goes down to the the top vent tube on the um, fuel sending unit. And then the other vent tube will go up to the filler vent tube. So now I can throw the tank and all this stuff on the truck and then finally have the gas tank in. Then I can work on running my hard fuel lines and everything else. Um, so now I can get into installing the tank. Um, some people say they had to clear the the clear some of it for the four link that I have. Um, I didn't really know because I haven't done that yet. So I guess I'll let you know if I have to clear it. And uh, so let's get throwing that in there. Whether or not it's today might be a different day, but I will get on it. So that's where the video will take off next, me installing this fuel tank. Several days later. Alright, so I'm going to get into installing the gas tank finally, uh, fuel tank. So I'm going to get into that. But first, uh, last week I picked up the engine block and the head, which are down there. And I put together my engine stand, which is a crappy old Harbor Freight uh, unit. So hopefully that works out. But all right, so first thing on this, I'm going to install the uh, rollover valve thing, run that hose through. And then it's kind of awkward putting the, uh, the fuel filler neck in. So I might have to put the, the upper vent tube in the filler neck and then put the filler neck into the the truck and then I'll put the tank up and then I'll put the uh, the filler neck hose to the tank on there and then the vent hose so I'll probably start with this and then go from there So I had the tank up once already, but I forgot to, uh, for one, I got to put this on, slide it on over the filler neck, but I also forgot to put this rubber grommet piece that covers the filler neck and the vent tube. So I basically had to take it off. Now I'm putting the, uh, this on and then I will put the tank up again and then slide this over the tank.
fuel tank all installed. You can see the uh, filler neck tube, the upper vent, and then the upper vent for the tank. The uh, supply and return line are here. They'll get ran up front when I do the hard lines. But all in all, the tank is pretty much in. So now that that's done, all right, so now, so now that the tank is installed, um, I've been wanting to get that out of the way just so I can have it out of the way in general and then have it on the truck. So now I can do the, the back half of the brake lines and I can run the fuel lines to the front. Um, so that'll be another task. Um, I still gotta finish the brake lines for the front also. I have them kind of ran, but I still need to bend them up. And I also need to finish the airbag setup on the front. Um, that's pretty much pretty much there. I just gotta tie it into the the wheel well. I'll get into that at a on a different one. But I I also want to get started on doing engine assembly. I have to pretty much order all the gaskets and whatnot and seals and all that stuff to, to put it together. I have everything back from the machine shop and so I kind of have to order some stuff to, I guess, put it together. Um, I have the pistons. I have, I'm using the stock rods. I just got new bolts for them. And I need to order all new bearings for everything. So that'll be another project. Putting the engine on the stand, listing out everything I need, and then going from there. Um, I'll probably have to get a uh, different... For sure they have to get a different head gasket. I was going to see what size was on it and then see if I can measure things and see if I get the one that Technonics Tuning suggested. They suggested the 1.4 um, metal one that should raise the compression to 11.1 .1 using the pistons that I bought. So I'm probably going to do that um, without getting too crazy and having to need race gas. So, But yeah, it's chugging right along now um but anywho it's another uh, quick little video um i appreciate everybody watching and keep following along um oh i forgot to mention i have the um the fuel pump that was on the truck and i think this is the accumulator um i need to double check make sure that works um, i'm probably going to go with stock fuel pump because that's what i had on my rabbit when we ran it i'm pretty sure it was a stock fuel pump with a Mark III fuel filter at the back. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna need the, the accumulator. I'm pretty sure I don't, not for ITBs, so. But yeah, fuel pump, gotta check to make sure it works. And then I need a fuel filter, and then there'll be hard lines all the way up front. And then I'll tie into another set of hard lines in the bay, and then they'll kind of wrap up. But that will be another part another video um probably when i get into running more of the fuel lines i just wanted to do a quick video on getting the um fuel tank on the truck just to get another video done trying to get back into the, the progress of keeping making videos but anywho i hope this wasn't too long and i seem long-winded talking as it is um i still got a ton more stuff to do and hopefully dive into the engine next and another video of me probably wet sanding and buffing the truck um yeah that'll be fun but i'm looking forward to doing it but anywho thanks for watching everybody and i will see you on the next one bye let's climb underneath the truck and install the tank